Hey, and welcome to the next 3D printing project. Well, as you can see, this is what we're working on. And the reason this is red is because mm, Tinkercad is having an issue with this because of the all the little details are causing it to have a breakdown essentially. And if you do not follow my directions carefully, Tinkercad will not print yours too. So please pay attention to the details because if you do it incorrectly, you're never going to be able to print this particular model. So we're going to start with the parts that Tinkercad can handle pretty easily. And that's this model without the extra little fluff around this thing. Ah, I lost a hoof. Let me try that again. Okay, <clears throat> so let's just start with, start with the body. Okay, so pretty easy, it's just gonna be a rectangle. Let's get the dimensions, sorry, a cube. And this is 4239, let's just make it 42. 42. Okay, and 97, 97. Now the height is gonna be 35, not too bad, 35. All right, let's make it purple. And that's good, now you can start seeing what it is there. All right, I moved it up about, well, how far did I move it up, 30? Let's just say 30. Let's round the edges right about there <clears throat> now the edge rounding does not really matter i just it just makes it easier for me okay so that's the easy part now this is the part where you have to know you have to have in your head the idea that i'm going to hey look i made that all one let me uh separate that that you're going to create a lot you're going to create one weird part out of a lot of smaller parts so let me duplicate this so I can show you what I'm talking about. So here's this shape. And if you didn't know any better, you would think, well, I don't see this shape anywhere over here. That's because I made this one. How did I make it? Let me show you by ungrouping it. This is technically a pyramid. That's right. So grab a pyramid and let's check the dimensions here. Let's make it 33 by 38. So 33 by 38 and the height is 86. Let's make it 87, 87. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a cube, a transparent cube, raise it up. And honestly, I did not have a total measurement, but just to be exact so that you guys can follow along I'm going to change that one to 66, 67. Let's just make it 67, 67. And the width really doesn't matter as long as you can cover that part. And let me just drag them both away from that other purple area. And it looks like it's getting all of it. Okay, so I'm gonna select these two to show you what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna group it. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing to this one. I'm going to group it. All right, so I changed that to purple and that's what I did. So let me get rid of that. Now, the reason I did this is because I wanted a tapered look for the side of this llama. And I'm just going to raise that up and put that right here. Let me change the color. It should be a lighter purple actually i'm not sure if it should be you're not actually going to see this one so it looks like i'm going to drag them both down a little bit now the height really doesn't matter it's up to you <clears throat> i want these to be centered so i'm going to select both of them and then use the align tool and i want them to be aligned this way so i'll choose that and that's i think all i'll do yeah 
Okay, so there's a little bit of a curb, curve, sorry. And I'm gonna move this forward so that it's at the edge. Not too much, but that looks good. Okay, now what I'm gonna do next is I'm going to duplicate this one. So control D or I'm just gonna duplicate it here and I'm gonna raise it up. So here's what I'm gonna do. Let me get a close up. I am going to try going to try to make the bottom of this match the width of this one. Now I don't have the measurements and it's not going to give it to me, so I just have to make it smaller until it's the same width. Now, when I change when I clicked on it, I clicked on this side and when I changed the width, it moved it in. I'm going to click on this side and when I change the width again, it's going to move that side in. See how that works? So now I'm going to move it lower. Where's my arrow? There it is. And <clears throat> I don't like how it's skipping a lot. I'm going to smooth out the movement a little bit. And I'm going to move this back with the arrow key. Oops, I'm moving it forward. Okay. So I'm looking over here and it looks like I can move it a little bit over, a little bit forward. And over here it's sticking out some. So I'm I'm going to go 23.75 and that is going to be close enough. Honestly, you're not going to see any of this, but here's <clears throat> here's what I want you to see. I'm going to move that forward a little bit. Okay. What I'm going to do now is actually rotate it. What I'm going for is that look like the llama is going backwards. Now, here is the interesting part. You could not get this particular shape by using any of these shapes over here <clears throat> and just dragging it over. You have to actually manipulate an existing one. Now, because I turned it and now I'm gonna change the base numbers, it's actually gonna skew the entire shape. So you get some shapes that you have not seen before. 35 for that one. And you see how it's changing it all together? I'm going to make it 33 or 32 and I'm liking it, but I'm going to make it just, let's just make it 30 at this point. How is that? What am I thinking? I like it. I'm going to move it down just a little bit <clears throat> just because I didn't want there to be any space here. Again, I'm not going to see this. You're not going to see this. <clears throat> and if you can tell, it's a little bit of, different shape than that one there and that's fine I'm gonna duplicate the top one again here I'm gonna move it up now again what am I gonna do I'm going to make the width just a little bit shorter and make that 20 and I'm gonna make the, uh, this one here in the front let's make it 19 and I'm gonna move it over with my arrows and that's too much or it's still too big so i'm going to move it over and let's just call that one good enough now this next one i wanted to rotate a little bit so let me rotate it a little bit but i am going to move it back some and the curvature i want i actually still want I'm looking at the original model that I have it on another screen. So I'm going to rotate that one a little bit because it goes up a little bit. It goes up a little bit before leaning back for some reason. Let me see if I can drag this picture here. This is what I'm talking about. It goes in slightly forward, but then back. That's what I'm going to try to do here. So it goes slightly in, slightly back. And now I want it to go Oh, I'm sorry, in, up, and I want this to go back. So that might be good. However, this one's sticking out too much. So I'm gonna, because I'm clicking on this side, that's the side that's actually gonna move. So let me make that 25, mm, too much, 27. Now I'm gonna move it down. 
let's see if I can move this down to 34. Yeah, that's not bad. I'm going to actually I'm going to move the whole thing down. Move it over, uh, rotate it some right there. And I'm going to bring this in to 25 again. Move it down forward with the arrow keys and down. All right, I'm getting that curve that I want. <clears throat> so slightly forward, up, and then back. Let's show you the picture again. Slightly forward, up, and then back. Now I want something that goes forward again. Forward again. So last one, I'm going to duplicate this one, and I'm going to raise it up. Now, as you can see, the shape is getting very warped as we go on here. So I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm going to rotate it, go straight up again. And again, I want something that looks like it's going forward a little bit. And that is not bad. So let me go down. Now, again, I have to adjust this a little bit. So let's make that 16. And let's make that 15. Yep, that's not bad. I am going to change the front. Here, let's make it 20. I'm liking it. Let's make it just a little bit shorter. How are we doing back here? Not good. Why is it good in the front? Oh, I again, I'm warping this thing. So let's change that to 14. And that one also to 14. Oops, 13. Okay, so here we go. Let's move that up a little bit. No, that's good. Okay, so we're not going to worry too much about the exact dimensions about these things because you're not going to be able to see it. Okay, now let's deal with the head. I don't mind telling you that the head was pretty hard to put together. I mean, let's look at this thing. That is a weird looking head, but let's go ahead and do it anyways. I'm going to start off with a basic cube. It's going to be 10 by 10, if I remember correctly. Actually, let's just look at the dimensions here. Oh, I changed dramatically. All right, so basic dimensions. Oh, wait, let's see what's included here. I need to ungroup this thing. That's why. And then, okay. So the head is going to be, let's make it 30 in length. So let's uh, 30 here. And what's the width? The width is 13.3. So let's just go ahead and change that. Now, in this case, it really does not matter what you make the head because you want it to essentially, oops, click the wrong one. <clears throat> you want the head to fit here. Let me rotate this so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm going to hit shift so that it goes exactly 90. All right, there's our head. And let's move that forward with the arrow keys and then down some. Now, the head is tilted downward. So let's go ahead and tilt that downward. Let's make it a little bit more right there. And uh, this is going to go, oops, wrong one. Let's go down, forward. That should be fine right there. All right, as you can see, it's not centered. So let's move it over with the arrow key. Let's just make sure we're all centered here. And align. I want it to align in this direction. So I'm going to click on that one there. They are aligned. Now, I'm not sure if you can tell, but it moved it all over to the to the right. Now I'm going to move it over to the left a little, and this one as well. Okay, so there's the beginning of the head. Let's make that a light purple. I'm sure there's another word for it that's more appropriate. Okay, there's the head. Now let's make the lower jaw. The lower jaw is essentially a rectangle or a rectangular prism. I'm going to move this over here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, so there it is. 
it's just that's the beginning of it so we're gonna drag a cube and let's see what the dimensions are here 13 by 13 it's a square let's just make it 13 by 13 and then later on if we need to play with it we will so there's 13 by 13 and how thick is this 5.3 fine 5.3 enter change the color because I like I like when it looks the right way so straight up something looks off what looks off 13 by 13 oh that's because this is at an angle okay so let's rotate this and try to make it flat now we're gonna get a different dimension here why is that thick oh 2.9 that's what makes little sense 15.9 2.9 2.9 much better so let's move it over here move it right there yeah, okay so let's get rid of this one right here that's our extra one and we're gonna keep it straight for right now because we need to add something to it and that is gonna be this uh, triangle or triangular prism let's change it to purple already and we want this one to be upside down well let's rotate it first shift there and then upside down that's this arrow here okay well there we are let's move it up right there wow that's not even close to where i want it okay up again right there <clears throat> let's see what dimensions we have here 13.3 which is exactly this one right so let's make this one the same width 13 and what should we do you know what I need to align these two so I'm gonna select these two it's a lot harder to align later so I'm gonna align it now here and I want them to be the same right there okay so I'm gonna change this let's go from the bottom now here's uh, here's something important if you change it here you will not get the bottom to move up or the bottom to move up you'll get the top to move up but if you change the angle you see right now the the arrow key is pointing that way that's where you'll move but here because it's this way I get to move this up and let me get a better angle here this will move up but let's go ahead and shorten this to 6.5 6.5 <clears throat> uh, let's focus on that a little bit now the height has to be the same so let's change that to two point let's go again here at the bottom 2.9 okay all right, so I'm gonna select both of them and this time I'm going to align them just to make my life a lot easier. How do I want them to go this way? The height, this one, right there. That's what I want. All right, as you can see, there's a little bit sticking out. Let me zoom in here so you can see. There's a little bit of space. So what I'm gonna do is select it and with the arrow key, move it back some. There it is. <clears throat> so there is that. Let's move back a little bit. And I think we're good. I'm gonna duplicate this uh, uh, triangular prism and I'm gonna duplicate it and then I'm gonna move it out of the way. I'm gonna need this one later for the bottom and the top. So I'm just gonna change, I'm gonna rotate this and that should be fine for now. Is it too much? Too, uh, yeah, looks fine. I guess I can adjust it later. All right, so now I'm gonna rotate this one. Actually, before I do, let's just get it closer to where we want, which is somewhere around here, higher. And now let's rotate. 
so that it matches that. And we'll move it up. Now, <clears throat> let me get 13 and how big is this one? 13.33. So I'm going to change this to 13.33. 13.33, enter. And I'm going to align these two. So align. Let's undo that. I just want this to move over here. So it didn't work. I'm going to get over that and just move it manually myself. Too much. I see that if I go over there, I don't like it. So I'm going to just change this to 0.1. Now I can make the movements a little smaller. There you go. That's what I want. Okay. So now if you can tell this triangle is much bigger, so I'm going to make it stand out some more. Let's make it uh, five. As you can see that it's rotating a little bit at an angle here. So I don't like it. I'm going to make it more like, six and you know I'm not liking this at all in terms of the direction it's pointing so let's go where is the top is that it right there oh there's the top I I want the top to be over there and I can move that up now I'm gonna make it taller how do I make it taller Actually, I have to go this direction. All right. I'm going to rotate it some. As you can see, there, this does require some playing around and adjusting here and there. All right, that's not bad. Not bad. Although, I feel like in the game, the actual picture, let me move it over so you can see what I'm, t I'm talking about. The angle seems to be more dramatic going downward. So I'm going to try that. I'm going to pull it down some more. Now, when I do that, it does make it more dramatic. I'm going to move it back some. I think we're good. OK, there's that. Now, this right here, the mouth or the teeth, it's just a box. That's all it is. I'm going to change that to white. And I don't even know what dimensions they are, but let me just drag it over here so I can. The thing is, you just wanted to make it smaller than the mouth. So if I remember correctly, the mouth is what, 13? Yeah. So let's make this uh, 11. Hit the wrong button. So let's make this 11. All right. So there's that. Let's move it up. And let's look. All right, so <clears throat> it too is pointing downward, but we're not going to do that yet. Just wanted to make sure it fits in there. OK, so yeah, I'm going to move this forward. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to make it transparent over here. And then I'm going to adjust it to what? Let's just make it 9. <clears throat> and this one is going to go up. Now let's take a look at this. Just these two. Let's get it. Let's zoom in. Okay, that's better. I'm going to move this over with the arrow key. Okay, now I want it to go all the way through, and it looks like that's the case here. So I'm going to select both. And now you should have that set of teeth right there. So now I'm going to go here. And if you look, it should be sticking up more. And at the same time, it should be rotated a little, a little. Again, if you want it to be rotated slightly, you have to go above the circle. If you want it to just be in the lines and you do it below. All right, so there's that. But I, I actually want it to be a little bit less of an angle. Move it down as well. Let's 
not sticking out from under there. Okay, we're good enough. All right, so there's that part. Anything wrong? Yes, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna duplicate that and I'm gonna move it down and then back. Now this one's way too tall, so I'm gonna move it down to like, let's say five. And I'm gonna, oh, let me do that. I'm gonna move it up. Essentially what I'm trying to do is create the bottom part of the jaw. I'm gonna move the arrow back and that's, that's pretty much what I want. Looks like we're good here. Okay, I think we're good. Now, let's see, what's the next part that's gonna be hard? I'm gonna duplicate, we're gonna do the ears next. I'm gonna duplicate uh, that right there, the bottom triangle, duplicate, and I'm gonna move it to the back right here. Let's get a better view over here. If you look behind here, we have a couple of triangles as well as some basic bars. So let's start there. Let's zoom in and let's see what we have here. Looks like I adjusted this a little bit oddly. So move that over there. Oh, I aligned it incorrectly. That's what it looks like. <clears throat> All right, let's get some uh, measurements here. And it looks like it still needs to be moved up. So it looks better. There it is. All right. So what do we have? Let's just call that three and five, three and five. So let's make that again, three and five. All right, that's not bad. Let's move it over to the side. And we want it to go up. And let's rotate this. So, well, I guess we gotta zoom in a little bit. We're trying to get that right there. So we can create that just by doing Rotating it. Alrighty. Rotated that. Now I just want a bar. Do I have one? Let's use the jaw. I'm going to duplicate the bottom part of the jaw. Move it to the back. And move it up first. Let's, then we can move it to the back. <clears throat> I'm going to rotate, rotate this to try to get it to be as straight as possible. That looks good enough. How tall is this one? 13.5, let's say. 13.5. And the width? Five. All right, let's move that there. That did not look right. So let me just move it over a little bit. And I'm going to use the align tool for this one. So there it is. And I want it to be aligned in this direction. So I think that should be fine. Is it aligned? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna rotate this. Oh, they're both selected. Let me just select that again. it back a little bit. Oh, you know what I did not do is I did not adjust the, the thickness. It says here 4.71, but I think five should be enough. Then I'll move it forward and then down some. Let's rotate it a little bit and then down. Why isn't it going down? There it is, right there. All right. Let's make it six. All right, that's covered. <clears throat> I'm gonna duplicate that as well. Move it up. What I'm trying to do 